We've spent the past few weeks on the 49th floor of a high rise in one of Panama City's most popular and exclusive neighborhoods for free. Every morning, we've woken up to this beautiful skyline for free. And in this building, we have access to a pretty decent gym for free. A pool and jacuzzi with a view. And this prime location is right across the street from the vibrant Cinta Costera. We have access to all of this for free, for free, for free, for free. This is what free 99 looks like. Mm -hmm. So that's the catch. Speaking of which, it's time for a walk. Shelby, we're gonna go for a walk today. You're gonna do a great job. You're not gonna try to run up to any dogs and attack them with your love. Look at me, Shelby. We're gonna have a fantastic walk. High five. You agree? Ah, sit. Ah, 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 sit. Mm. Good girl. Now, are we gonna have a good walk? You gonna be a good girl? Give me some love. All right. All right, go get your leash. Good girl. Sit. We wholeheartedly enjoy training, walking, and caring for Shelby. It was like taking care of a hairy baby who liked to outside. And this is the essence of housing, exchanging care for accommodation. sitting and pet sitting it's a thing it's really a thing people list their homes on different platforms or different groups looking for sitters that will take care of their plants and taking care of their pets and watching their home while they're away uh, for different durations of time i've seen different pet sits from like two days to six months so there is an opportunity out there for people who are interested in seeing the world in a different way and saving on accommodation so we found this spot by using the platform trusted house sitters it's an opportunity to get our pet fix while we're traveling and we're on the road The Pacific Coast of Mexico is where we had our first trusted house sitter experience. And he left us the key to a Suburban, a full stock of firewood, an overflowing liquor cabinet, and the charge of his two fun-loving independent cats. For us, this was a hole in one as opposed to being a hole in our pockets. We were inside of a beautiful expat community off of the cliffs of the Pacific Coast. Each cat chose his human, and we had a magnificent time in this community. Through trusted house sitters, we got to experience this place in style. We really enjoyed having the Pacific Coast right outside of our front door. It was just a really chill and relaxing ambiance. We had fun bonding with the cats, hanging with the neighbors, and enjoying each other's company. You want to talk to the folks? Say hi, say hi, hey, right here. <laughs> this was our first experience. And as you know, it would definitely not be our last.
another responsibility of house sitting is actually sitting in the house. Like yeah. we're kind of tethered to this house for 21 days. Um, it's not bad. That's why we make sure that we go to houses that we really like. You know, a lot of house sitters, they are okay and know that you might want to take day trips to explore the area. So that's cool. It's something that we could do. Um, but yeah, you can't just completely abandon your responsibilities. So it was almost time for us to head to Panama City, Panama, y'all. So we were really excited. Uh, we wanted to get our accommodations all squared away. Jumped on Airbnb's website and started looking at Airbnbs. And there were a ton of them here in Panama City, Panama. And most of them were pretty affordable. But we dug a little bit deeper. And as we dug deeper, we found out that short-term stays here in Panama City, Panama were illegal. I mean, I don't believe there are any Airbnb police here in Panama City, Panama. The hosts are not going to stop you from booking a short-term stay. I mean, really, Panama? Panama City, Panama. Short-term stays illegal, except for in hotels. <laughs> so, we thought we'd see what staying here legally looked like. So we decided to check out a few of the hotels in Panama City, Panama. Is there a discount? Okay, so this is a hotel in our area, just a block behind us. So less reviews, not sure if the amenities are the same, but it's coming in at a discounted rate of about $63 a night. All right, so this one didn't really cut the mustard, but we're on our way to see some that are more in line with us. Everything about this hotel, including the amenities, which included a second floor infinity pool overlooking the sidewalk. Still though, $77 a night times, what's that, 21 nights? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, honey. All right, so we just wrapped up seeing a few hotels here in Panama City, Panama. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got done looking at the Sheraton. Sheraton's coming in at 126 a night for an ocean view or a city view room. You know, it's like a basic hotel room, but they do have a lot of amenities on the floor level, which is really nice. It seems kind of luxurious on the on the floor level, but overall the rooms are, you know, just regular hotel rooms. Regular rooms, rooms man. They got that, that hotel carpet, you know, I'm talking about that brown stuff with the circles on it, they, <laughs> any hotel got. Um, so thinking about like booking a place like this instead of an Airbnb. So those are our findings. Um, it's time for us to get up back to our neighborhood, y'all. Yep. House sitting and pet sitting, you know, it's not for everybody, but I think it's really good for budget travelers, solo travelers, and even couples. So I think it's really good for those groups of people, but honestly, economically, it's a really good way to see different parts of the world, to see local places, residential areas, without the financial burden of paying for accommodations. So all that glitters is not gold, y'all. So there's some cons to this game, right? Uh, first off, we look for houses that are along the path that we want to go. Like if it's in a country that we don't want to go to, we're not going to just go to that country for an extended stay in the place. Uh, for instance, a place came up for a three month stay in the hills of Argentina. Not on my list, not on my list. Um, so, you know, finding accommodations that have the right time frame, right location, uh, finding places that have strong Wi-Fi because we are digital nomads so we got to have that Wi-Fi signal that's kind of non-negotiable. There's an interviewing process that goes on and we ask that during the interview process. Um, <laughs> fur, shedding, shedding. So uh, sometimes animals shed excessively.
Uh, so that's a question that we ask now. We also size up the owners, making sure that they're not asking too much of us. I'm not a security officer. I don't want to walk around the property at 10 o'clock at night. In fact, if I have to act as surveillance on your property, I probably don't want to be there. So safety is another issue. Um, but generally speaking, people who are on this platform have nice houses, have secure homes, strong Wi-Fi, and love their animals. This is a real thing, you guys. I was surprised to find out it was a real thing, but thumbs up, yo. It is, you know, and this is where people list their homes for a duration of time, and they're looking for sitters who will watch their house or water their plants and take care of their pets while they're away. Kind of shocked me. Uh, if you guys are interested, check out our description for the affiliate link. Uh, I think you pay $120 per year and you get 20% off using our affiliate link. Hope you guys are having a pleasant week. From Shelby, myself, and my wife, I bid you guys adieu. Peace and love from the Yard Bros.